Hey everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a big old haul for you. It's from several different places and I thought I would show you all these things I've purchased and before I put them away. So I, th I think you might be interested in some of these things. So uh, last weekend I had to go back to Asheville uh, to take care of some things with my brother's estate which is a whole story in itself and I'm not going to go into it. So anyway, I was in Asheville and we were staying with my in-laws. So my mother-in-law and I went shopping. Um, while we were there, my son and my husband went to a comic con in Greenville, South Carolina on Saturday, which was planned all along, but Greenville's closer to Asheville than it is to Camden. So we decided to go up, take care of things, and they could go to the Comic Con on Saturday. So my mother-in-law and I went to the outlets. Uh, Asheville has uh, outlets there. I hope I don't shake you. There we go. Uh, and so she and I went to the outlets. Uh, we both had coupons for Bath and Body Works. Uh, I still had my 40% off coupon and then I could get a free item, bath item, uh, that was $8.95 or less, I think, or something like that, which less is hard to find um, so basically a little travel sauce and she had the same coupon um, and so I had been wanting if you saw my Bath and Body Works haul I'd been wanting the pink pineapple uh, shower gel and my friend Aiden at English Prof Style if you're not watching Aiden you need to I'll link her down below you need to go check her out uh, she was kind enough to let me know there was a sale going to be happening that weekend and sure enough there was so I yeah I did a little purchasing at the Bath and Body Works at the outlet mall in Asheville so <laughs> let me show you what I picked up let me just get everything out of the bag and I'll be right back okay got everything unbagged it, it's not a whole lot Especially after that big haul I just did but I did get the pink pineapple sunrise uh, bath and shower gel the notes are sweet pink pineapple palm sugar and sun-drenched nectar so I did get this picked up mmm smells yummy so I got that and I also picked up the golden mango lagoon I don't think I saw that online the notes are sunny mango saltwater woods and coral blooms mm, smells yummy so I picked that up in the shower gel um, and then I picked up two candles um, the jar ones the single wick were two for 22 but I didn't get um, I didn't get two of those I just but I just went ahead and picked up two candles I picked up the uh, Bath and Body Works mango Mai Tai uh, in the small candle and I picked up a fresh cut lilacs they had that and that's my favorite scent in a candle I was so happy to get it so that's a cute cute top then my freebie I grabbed the a uh, golden mango lagoon in the travel size spray to go with the shower gel my mother-in-law like I said had the same coupons so she picked up at the beach and gave it to me because she did she uses mainly the hand soaps um, she did buy a candle this time but she rarely she has a few candles but she's the type of person who buy a candle and burn it for the next three four years I, I can't, that's not, that's not me I'll go through them quickly so um, she did pick up a candle she bought picked up hand soaps and I think that's all she got um, and then when I was at the checkout line waiting my turn I happened to see this pink pineapple sunrise hand cream so I just threw it in my thing and I picked that up too so that's all the things I got at Bath and Body Works and I'm very pleased with my purchase so I don't Feel the need to go to another Bath and Body Works for a while. Uh, next, while we were at the outlets, we went to the Vera Bradley, Vera Bradley outlet. Now, one of the things I purchased 
was the cutest purse. Um, it was round and it had Star Wars on it. It was a Star Wars thing purse. Uh, it was half off. Uh, I think I paid 30. It was 60. I paid 30. That is for my niece's birthday. Her 17th. She'll be 17. Yeah, she'll be 17 this year. And so I left that back in Asheville. I wrapped it up and left it for her because I won't don't plan to be up there around her birthday and so I just left it there but while I was in uh, Vera Bradley I saw this print this lemon print and I was looking for something I personally just me personally am not a huge Vera Bradley purse fan I'm not I, I have one Vera Bradley purse and it's a crossbody uh, purse that I wear or I take with me to when I go to theme parks and I haven't been to a theme park since uh, I've had cancer so I haven't used that purse in a while it is great if you want to be hands-free and but um, as far as regular Vera Bradley purses I'm not a huge fan I had a couple I got rid of them uh, yeah but uh, this is um, one of these like storage like like 21 that a uh, bag uh mlm 21 31 31 it's 31 yeah uh, but this is it and i i wanted one of those bags when somebody had i think my sister teresa had a party sister teresa had a party and i bought a bunch of bags i did a haul and i had wanted one of these and i didn't i didn't buy it but um i got it from vera bradley now the price tag on this was 115 there we go if you can see it i can't get too close to the camera but these were 70 percent off and i can't remember what that made it but yeah i got that for 70 percent off and then the last thing i picked up oh i think i have, I have my receipt and here the last thing I picked up was a pair of flip-flops uh, these have uh, a tag say $25 but yeah I got these flip-flops but I don't think I paid 25 let's see I paid $34.50 for the lemon bag I paid $7.50 for the flip-flops and I paid $30 for the far far away uh, Star Wars bag for my niece so there that's what I got at Vera Bradley uh, then next uh, here in in the Camden area actually over in Columbia um, we go over to Columbia a whole lot that's where the movie theater the closest movie theater is Villages at Sand Hills and that's a fantastic shopping center I mean it's humongous um, anything you can think of is in this shopping complex and it's the kind that's got the pretty streets and then there's like apartment living or condo living up above the stores that kind of really pretty area and so there's a Yankee Candle there so I saw in the window the sign said 40% off Yankee Candle so I made a, made a Yankee Candle purchase so let me smell she sprayed my sheet of paper with I forgot what scent <laughs> I have my receipt I haven't taken anything out I have two receipts that's the Yankee Candle receipt okay that's something else all right these are so well wrapped up let me get them out I got three candles the first one look at this this is so pretty uh, rainy day made with essential oils hope you can see that and it's got such a beautiful pattern around it oh it smells heavenly this one doesn't have notes this smells so good I wish I knew what the notes were to tell you but isn't that jar and that's not a sticker yeah maybe it is a sticker but it is so well stuck on there yeah that's so nice 
That smells good. So rainy day. Does it tell me three wick rainy day candle? I got this for twelve dollars and fifty cents. I figured, I figured that was a pretty good price. It was regularly twenty six dollars and fifty cents. Next. Next, I got this one. Look how pretty. The Sakura Blossom Festival. Look at that. That is so pretty. Mmm. It smells heavenly. Lid becomes decorative vase. Use logo side down. Nice. And of course, it doesn't tell me. I would assume it's cherries. But it smells this smells really nice oh it's heavy those candles are heavy um they it was uh, originally 34 dollars um the return value is 20 dollars and 40 cents i guess that's what i paid for it 20 dollars and 40 cents and then this one so that would have been 40%, it's 40% off. And then I got Sun and Sand. To me this sound, this smells like the beach. This smells like Copper Tone, which I happen to like that smell. I like that smell. So I know this is a, a scent they keep on hand but isn't that cool this one again was a 34 dollars these are heavy 20 ounces Ugh. it was 30 originally 34 dollars and i guess i got it for 20 dollars and 40 cents yeah so how much did i, I saved 41 dollars and 20 cents not bad so that's the candles i got and then the last thing was uh, i got an email I, um, there's this, uh, shop, they have several stores I know around, and they sell their products around. It's, um, the name of the company is, let me make sure I get this right, Spartina449. Um, they are, I think their main store is in Bluffton, South Carolina, which is, right outside of Hilton Head or Defosky is an island right off of Hilton Head. Uh, they are there. Um, I know they have a store in Greenville, South Carolina in the mall because I used to shop there. Uh, their products are sold at the Biltmore Estate because I bought things there at the Biltmore Estate from them. But anyway, they um, have mainly purses and bags, but they have all kinds of things. They have clothing, jewelry, just all kinds of things, but they're really known for their purses. And I have a purse that I'm current, currently carrying. Um, it's uh, a, a shoulder bag, a smaller one, and the print is the Sea Islands. Well, and I have a umbrella to match that. Well, I purchased from them. They had a, sent me an email, they had a 40% off sale. And I'm like, okay, I'm going for it because I haven't purchased anything in a while. They had the tote bags that went with the the purses that I was talking about in the Sea Island. They had a tote bag. See here it is. That's what the that's what it looks like. It's the whole coast of um it's from Myrtle Beach, the coast of South Carolina, all the way down to Jacksonville, Florida is the Sea Islands. And then this was originally $28. There's a price tag on it. And this was on sale for, uh, yeah, that doesn't tell me. I know, this was on sale for $15. So I went ahead and picked it up just cause, cause I love this Sea Island print. And um, so I thought, why not just pick it up? So I got that. Now, while I was in there, I was looking at other purses. So let me show you. The next thing I picked up is this. Now this technically is not a purse. This is a lunch bag. But I thought it would make a really cool purse. Um, 
This originally sold for $64. And I'm sorry, I don't remember. It's 40% off of that. Whatever 40% off of that is what I paid. And um, I hope you were able to see that. I'll show you again. And then this is the front of the tag. Um, it's got a got a bag of air inside but this is the inside and it's insulated so I mean if I wanted to I could put a cold an ice pack in a drink or something and take it with me if I wanted to you know I could use it as a lunch bag but also most definitely I can use it as a purse and the, the um, zipper is purple, a, pur a lilac shade. Let me, there we go. It's a lilac shade. It's really nice made. There we go. I just love, I think it's so cute. And the print on this is uh, out to lunch bag and it's in pink lemonade. The print is pink lemonade. That's cute. Oh, I just thought that was so cute. And then last, the purse I bought. Stay. I bought a purse. Love it. Here it is. It's got like a, a vinyl, like the lunch bag. It's a vinyl feel. Let's see. This one was originally $128. You can see. Uh, this is the Jet Setter bag and I got it in Golden Mermaid. It's got a hook to close. Okay. okay. Take out the airbag. Here's the inside. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then it has these. I guess I could hook it all up. I don't know. Maybe you guys tell me. Is it for straps? There's no straps with this. I know I can cinch it up like my Louie. Oh no, it's a tote. There we go. I just, it, uh, it's just very tropical. Very me. I'm a sucker for anything tropical. My aesthetic, maybe, it's just gaudy, bright colored tropical. <laughs> that is just who I am. That is who I am. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the mermaid. Mermaid is their emblem. I have been to their store in Bluffton. Yep. So there we go. And like I said, I don't remember how much I paid for everything, but the bags were 40% uh, off. And the tote, I don't know if it was under the 40% off, if it was just a sell item. I think it was just a sell item. But I do have this in a uh, shoulder bag, just a, a, sm a smaller shoulder bag. So that's it. That is everything in my haul. That's a lot of things. Candles, bath items, purses. Now I've got to clean all this mess up. And, and the next thing is I got to find out where I'm going to store all these things because I'm still unpacking boxes. You can't tell. I'm not going to show you. I've got a mound over here of boxes. Sky high. Sky high. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. 
Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.